let's create our first case. To do this, click on the File drop-down and select New Case. The Create Case window will open. The fields marked in red are mandatory fields and must be entered before a new case will be created. First up, we need to define the type of case we are creating. Select the case type from the drop-down. In this example, we will be creating a trademark case, so I will select Trademark. Next, we need to specify the country. Simply click on the drop-down and select the correct value. Do note that you have the option to select international treaty organizations as well, such as European Union, International Agreement and Protocol, and so on. Next, we have the distinguishing code, which is used to create a unique distinction for cases within the same country and within the same family. An example could be in countries that do not allow multi-class trademark applications. If a trademark application were to be filed in both classes 3 and 5, a suggested case extension would be 03 or 05. The catchword is a short description of the case and will be used to identify the record. What we enter in the catchword field depends on the type of case we are creating. For trademark cases, this would be the trademark description. Next we will add a name entry. We haven't yet discussed names or name types, but for this lesson simply know that the word name means an entity that is linked to the case in some manner. This could be the entity we invoice, or an entity we correspond with, and so on. Let's add the entity that we will invoice. First we need to define what type of an entity this is, so we will select account address. Next, we type in the name number of the entity. If this is not known, you may search for it by clicking on the search icon. Next, we need to set the application type, which defines what type of a filing this is. Our choice here determines how the case will behave once created. If this is a first filing for an IP right, reminders should be generated to watch the priority deadlines for further filings. Service levels are established according to the needs of the organization and our selection year determines how the case is handled within the system. Select the service level and if no special service level is required, choose normal. Next, the team indicates the work group. The team is usually named after the head case responsible person in that team. The last field is the date of order field. This field defaults to the current date. It indicates the date that the case was created in the database and can be changed to meet specific needs. After all options have been entered, click the Save button. A new case is created and a new case number is allocated.